The next thing I'm going to show you is how to use the Google Keep extension. At the top of my bar here, I have several extensions. This is the Google Save to Keep extension. If you were to go over here to Apps and click on it and go to Web Store, you could then type in Google Keep and you would be able to see the Google Keep Chrome extension right here. You would then click a button that said Add to Chrome, but since I already have it downloaded, it is asking me to rate it. After you have it in there, you're going to be able to see that you can go anywhere you want to. And let's say I'm on the news in News ELA, and I am learning about manta rays and their nurseries. And I think it's something really cool that I want to show my students, but I'm in Unit 2, and this wouldn't be until Unit 4. What I could do is I could go up to my actual extension, click on it, and over here it's going to post it almost like a little post-it note. And they're going to show the link is going to be in there. I could say, this is cool, share with science. I can go ahead and add the label and say where I want to put it. I could put it in differentiation if I want to. And then I can go ahead and you can see that it is saved. If I want to open it then and keep just to make sure that it's there, I can go ahead and click on it. The next thing that you're going to see is that it's here. It's showing me where it's under. And then, then I can go ahead and add my collaborators add the color changes, whatever I would want, so that I could actually see that. Once I close it, I have that URL in there. I could click on it, and I would be able to go to that particular website. So it's a very nice feature. It can also, Google Keep can be used in all the apps as well. So if you're within an actual doc, and you want to save it to your Keep, you could click it and it would actually save in there and then I could go ahead and put it in the folder that I want to and then I would go ahead and see that it's saved and when I go there it would be within my label within Digital Integration Specialist and then I would be able to add a title to it add some color to it whatever I wanted to so that I know what it is when I click on it, I'm going to be able to go into it and see what it is. So this is a really nice feature, especially if you're doing something and you don't want to have two tabs open, you don't want to be saving things, you're going to be able to just immediately save what you need to within Keep.